Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Yuto Se, episode number seven. All right, uh, the previous episode, uh, we uh, the previous episode was kind of the same as uh, Reto Se. Most of the things that we knew that were going to happen, everything happened like that. You know, first of all, the whole um, with a small little addition of like you know seeing the uh, enemy side of the story. That's a little addition that we got here. Uh, <clears throat> The whole, uh, like, you know, the whole uh, Mari getting injured, uh, trying to save the other person, her getting like you know, her being unable to perform in the Mirage Bat, then Miyuki will be now substituting her. All those things, like you know, those things happened, and uh, we got, as I said, we got a little bit more of information of the enemies, the, not enemies, but the opponent side, Crimson Prince and uh, uh, Cardinal George as well. Cardinal George, uh, Crimson Prince, as always, kind of gets smitten with Miyuki, but his personality is kind of looking a little bit more, um, what can I say, extreme in in Yuto say because I never like you know ever thought that Crimson Prince would behave like that, you know, like that much of like you know like she's he's smitten with her, uh, especially after seeing Reto say Reto say did not have that kind of scene, but here she's like oh my god like you know Miyuki is here. Oh, what an angel stuff like that so <laughs> that and uh, yeah so i'm guessing uh, in today's episode we're probably going to see the mirage pet either that or maybe this will be like you know like we'll see up till mirage pet and then in the next episode we're going to see the mirage pet so let's see what happens uh, how everything goes and we're, go we're probably going to see, let, learn more about the opponents in especially in yuto say because we're seeing those three characters uh you know they are kind of like the main focus now in this arc so let's see what more information we get about them so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number seven of mahoka koko no yuto se so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go heat shooting okay Oh yeah, shoes of covers. Okay. Well, obviously we know who's going to win. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> nope. That's an AOE attack. Oh, she knows. Multiple section. Oh. Has a problem with range specification. Oh. All right. Wait. So she's saying that this is disadvantageous later on. Oh. Okay. Ah, uh, boy. Ah. Huh. <laughs> Both of them are kind of same, you know. Stoic. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Obviously, she's. Okay. Obviously, she's strong. We know that from the retro say, but. Obviously, we know who's going to win. <laughs> Boy. So she's, she's basically saying here is that because it needs more precision in this semifinals, finals, she won't be able to do anything there because she's basically, as far as I could understand, she's uh, oscillating the particles of the section. Kind of like, a, what do you call it? An AOE attack. Like, you know, 
which has an area of effect so she's saying that when like you know in semi-final and finals it will need more precision you need to precisely hit it so it will be a problem for her i wonder if that really is the case for shizuku is she really what do you call it like you know uh has does she really has have problem with the, the problem that uh the girl mentioned you know or maybe it's like she was basically doing this to throw them off guard or something i don't know let's see <clears throat> yeah like that can be it, you know she's not showing her actual power in the pre like in the first rounds so that she can like keep it as a trump card or something make the uh, opponents lower their guard or I don't know, maybe it really is her problem. She cannot do it properly, just like uh, the girl mentioned, Purple Heart Girl. Okay, her name is... Okay, her name is Shiori, I need to keep that in mind. Whoa! Hmm. Grasping the location. Okay. What? Two years ago. Also, oh, she's very, uh, what do you call it? Like her reflexes are immense or something like that. All right. Natural spatial recognition and calculation skill. Okay. Convert anything she numerical formula. Oh, oh, so she's predicting it. The trajectory. So she's converting it in formulas. Calculating the trajectory and shooting in a matter of seconds. Okay, so that's her R boy. All right. So that's what she meant by precision. Density relative to space. Oh. Nine activation sequences. Oh. Okay. Oh, here, here we go. The semi final. All right. Oh. Oh. No, wait. Oh. Okay. Lost its number and fell to. Oh. Yeah, she gave her the opportunity. ID, that's her name, isn't it? Yeah. Oh boy, it's insane. Yeah. 
Wait, they never showed this in Retose. In Retose, it was like everyone won, something like that. <laughs> yes. All right. Whoa. Yeah. What? Like a side effect or something? What? Generalized. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that's why she, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like she's okay. It's going to. Pick up now. Yeah, it's picking up. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right. Woman's Yeah. The better for that. Ah. Certain, yeah, the, the engineer. <laughs> yeah, there you go, beast of an engineer. <laughs> Two or three generations. <laughs> Boy. Well, that's why you say like, you, you, know, you need leveled up equipment as well. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, the, the, you, you cannot. No, 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 no. It's a problem with the, with the family. Oh. Wait, that as well. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's another reason that you cannot, like, you know, let others know that Tasia is, you know, yeah, or something like that.
kind of feels bad in a way because she's basically comparing herself to Tasuya's skills and Shizuku herself is pretty strong so both of them together kind of difficult to beat them All right. Okay, so Honoka will be participating in this, I think. Yeah. Hmm, there you go. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. No, she talks like an old man, you know, like how old men talk. <laughs> Grandpa's talk. No, her, her way of talking is kind of an ancient dialect, I think. Yeah, she talks like an old man and like the dialect is kind of <laughs> hmm. Yeah, your opponent <laughs> Toko Whoa Oh. Hmm. Shinto type ancient magic. Hirakawa. Water. Oh. All right. So that's how we. Is so strong. Hmm. <laughs> Not to wait, that's it there. <laughs> yes. And yeah, she herself is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Honoka, your delusions. Keep it under control. <laughs> there she, there he is. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Uh. Hmm. Oh no, here we go. Hmm. We're going to use this. Okay. Light magic. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! She's going to start. Yeah. Imagining stuff again. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> I thought she's going to want get into one of the, her delusions again.
And there you go. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Damn. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Huh. Oh. Yeah, like, like, obviously, like, I understand what she's going through, but that, oh, God. I'm guessing she's thinking, like, I, yeah, she's thinking that she's going to drag down the other people if, if she keeps competing. Oh, it's that girl. The upperclassman. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's a good friend, you know. <clears throat> yeah, and that as well. Hmm. All right, she's going to, yeah, come. <laughs> but as far as I can remember, in the Ice Wheels break as well, they lose. I'm, I'm talking about them. Or. Okay, that's the end. I think so. Like, who was the one who competed in the Ice Wheels break? I think. Was it Amy or no, no. or was it Muki? No, M Muki. Yeah, it it might be Muki. I think. Can't remember at, at all in that Tose. Most probably it was Muki. Uh, let's wait for it. Like, it kind of feels weird to, like, you know, like, like, we're seeing stuff like this, you know, like, she lost, and now then, you know, she lost all of her motivations as well, that after, like, you know, the little pep talk, she's like, okay, I'm tr I'll try my best the next time, and she stood up again, and is, like, going to participate again, 
But we know what's going to happen by the end of it. They're going to again lose. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's like kind of weird to actually see it in this perspective because, <laughs> because like, it's kind of interesting to think about it. Usually we are accustomed to see everything on the point of view of the main characters. So like, you know, like these people, they are the opponents. So like if, okay, that's, is that, the end? yeah, that's the end. So. So they're the opponents. So here, the thing that is actually weird is like just like how the main characters, for example, if they somehow lose or something, then you know they are like feeling what do you call it that, and then like, you know the the little pep talk comes, and then they gain their confidence again, start going at it again, and then finally wins, and that's like a great like you know a, a great thing that happens. You know they again. What do you call it? Like, you know, they again gain back their self confidence and all. It usually goes in this way. But since here we know that they are again going to lose, um, that's why I'm saying, like, you know, it's actually weird to see like the similar thing that happened to them. Uh, you know, they 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 also got up. You know, they kind of get uh, Shiori. I think that was her name. Shiori, yeah, Shiori. She after losing, she gets depressed, and after like you know the the upper classman comes and talks with her. She's like, okay, I'll do it again. I'll win this time definitely. But she's, you know, she's probably going to lose again. And usually we are accustomed to, with them winning, you know, like after this whole little pep talk that they get, you know, the main characters usually, they usually the next match they usually win. But here we, we obviously they are going to lose again. That's why I'm saying like, it's kind of weird to see this in the enemy's perspective as well because as i said we are always accustomed to see everything from the main character's perspective so we usually forget that the opponents as well have a similar moment where they they also lose their self-confidence just like the main characters and they also you know need someone who actually lets them realize that yeah you need to keep going and then they gain back their self-confidence again like we usually forget that that the similar thing also happens to the opponents as well because we're all always so accustomed to seeing everything from the main character's perspective and like we also forget that like you know just as just similarly as the main characters get what do you call it some confidence boost after this and then they win usually that's not what happens in the opponent's part because they get their confidence back they get a little bit of a pep talk, you know, they decide to go again and as they fight against the main character, they lose because usually the main character wins. <laughs> so that's basically like, you know, it's kind of weird to actually see a similar thing happening with these characters as well. But anyways, okay, so. Okay, so in this episode here, um. We get a lot of information about Yori. That was her name, wasn't it? Um, I think so. Anyways, okay, yeah. So we get a lot of backstory of her, and we actually see what her family background was. You know how she lived before. She also like you know she kind of also narrates a tale as a tale as well that what happened after the whole like you know, her mom and dad used to fight and all the other things like you know she had given up all hope but then id came in and helped her stand up and gave her a place to belong to so that's why she's so loyal to her she's so you know uh what do you call it like, hmm, serious about whole like the whole winning thing she's so serious about it and uh, <clears throat> like we also get a little bit of more go deep a little bit of more deep into the whole um battle but how the mechanics work you know the whole like you know they kind of explain how uh shizuku's you know cad worked and how uh, their like you know uh, uh, the girl the opponents her cad works as well how they're different and so basically as far as i could understand what actually happened is they were acting as if uh, like you know Shizuku was kind of acting as if this was a specialized CAD but in actuality it was not 
it was uh like you know it had like it did not have like nine or ten activation sequences it had 99 of them and that's why like you know like they threw them off threw the opponents off and uh in the opponents they thought they made a strategy basing on the fact that Shizuku is using a specialized CAD so that's why he like, you know like the, the, the analogy that they use that uh theory is actually trying to uh, run from one tennis court to the other back and forth back and forth that's what she was doing and that's why she got so tired now if if shizuku was really using a specialized cad i'm guessing i'm guessing the similar amount of uh, you know fatigue that uh, her opponent felt she would also feel that and that would kind of balance things out and both of them would be kind of at the same power level and they could like you know keep doing it like even though like you know at the beginning or they could have made some other uh, you know some other strategy if they knew that she's not using a specialized cad maybe like you know maybe like like obviously like this 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 whole thing like you know a marathon run and a short like you know sprint a short sprint and a marathon run <clears throat> or a relay uh, you know like uh, like races which are quite big they need different strategies to win if it if the if the path is short if if the amount of distance you need to move is short you you start from with your full speed at a, you know you you try to give your best from the beginning because speed is the main factor there but as soon as the path becomes more longer it takes a lot of stamina to continue it so you don't start with your full speed you start gradually slowly so that you can keep going for quite a long while like similarly to that i'm guessing this is also the same problem that they faced the the opponent here she you know because she thought that shizuku is using a similar specialized cad like her she started giving her all from the beginning but that was actually not the case shizuku went gradually but she continued to like you know uh, rack up points one by one by one and like you know kept the pace and when she realized that uh her opponent is starting to get tired she like you know she then started to actually overtake her and that's what had basically happened like she basically mistook the like you know the strategy that they made was based on the fact that she was using a specialized cat so i'm not sure what would have happened if they actually knew what was happening and what tasuya was doing so like i don't know maybe maybe they could have gotten maybe they could have made a draw or maybe they could have won maybe i'm not sure but the the result would be different because by the end of it i think the final result was very close wasn't it it was like yeah 92 96 so if they knew from beforehand that what is actually happening i'm not sure how this would have ended but because of that because of the whole misconception that they had they lost and uh, now all right and obviously like here after losing she gets depressed because in her mind i took her in because like, you know she thought that yeah like i have a talent and i wants to uh, what do you call it um make use of that that's why i'm also going to help i you know uh, throughout all like, you know throughout everything i need to like you know i, I don't need to uh, I, I will not drag her down like this was her thought process but she never did realize that as as you know the upper classmen later on came and said that she never did really realize that just as how Iri herself was helped by uh, just as how she was helped by Iri, Iri was also helped by her because uh, you know like she, she got a friend basically and a, a rival in a way you can say to uh, you know like a friendly rivalry they had and they were also good friends so that was one thing that she was not thinking about she was all like she was kind of thinking about to it through the what do you call it uh, perspective of what you know like id is um someone who just needs her talent she was thinking in that way i never thought of it in this way so obviously after getting to learn uh, what ac actually is going through id's mind he realized that i did not you know 
pick her up because of her talent like obviously she did that like that there is a little bit of a portion of that as well but that's not everything that she has id also is very much um what do you call it uh you know uh id also chose her because of her what do you call it? Mm, her what do you call it mm, can't find the word uh her dictator you know her not giving up i think that type of a attitude or something like that because when i like, you know when she lost she lost and i did not like you know say anything but when in the end when she was like i've given up i was like i am disappointed you know so that was what i was looking for in her she was obviously she knew that she had talent so obviously she must have been also kind of a little bit sad when she saw that she lost but it's not over obviously unless and until you give up and so that's why when uh, you know she already, uh, said that i give up i was like i'm disappointed in you and because that was one thing that she did not hope to hear from her and i'm sure like you know at that moment she was also very sad because she knows that you know this is not her full you know capabilities she can do a lot more if she just doesn't give up but at the same time she sees that she's like you know not listening to her she's saying that yeah i've given up i won't do this anymore so as a friend as well it's kind of sad for her at that moment but hopefully everything went well and uh, yeah that was that was her her and shizuku the whole thing so now comes the next section where we see honoka's opponent toko i think that was her name yeah toko where she is good at water based magic and uh, that's why she usually wins in the uh, battle boat competition because it involves water and uh, yeah and she seems pretty chill here you know like like you know unlike the other opponent uh, other girl the purple haired girl now <laughs> and she i don't know she seems pretty confident enough as well and I am not sure like you know if he lose if she loses I I doubt she'll uh be heartbroken obviously she'll be heartbroken but she will probably not give up and like you know this will probably uh make her even more <laughs> competitive I I can kind of feel as if like you know she's a girl like that her character is like that her personality is like that like after losing she'll be more hyped up or fired up or something like that she is so yeah so she's pretty happy as well you can see like you know she's pretty positive and uh, I'm, I'm i'm really interested in seeing how this is going to go because um clearly she is i think she is a lot more stronger than honoka but because of as 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 we can see because of honoka cad which was made by tatsuya uh so i i don't know how this is going to go you know like obviously like she's going to win i think she won honoka won didn't she yeah like everyone won as far as i remember like that i know like the result i know that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about that how like you know how is this going to uh like how is she going to win here because like i doubt only um you know like tasia's cad will be enough to actually stop the other opponent because toko seems kind of really strong so I'm not sure and uh, yeah that's what i'm kind of like looking forward to because i cannot remember if they showed us like obviously they showed us that they she won but the details that obviously did not go into that in retose so that's why we knew nothing like retose was basically uh, the match started uh, and we see like you know the match that was happening it was like a five minute match or something like that and you know uh shizuku wins that was that and uh, <clears throat> Like we never knew like stuff like this happened behind the scenes so <laughs> kind of interesting to see it in this way so i'm sure we're going to see more stuff about you know this in the next episode as well what's going to happen with toko you know how the battle is actually going to happen and uh, yeah how honoka is going to win we're probably going to go into more details into, of, into that and uh like and in the end obviously with the whole section of um Yuri getting uh, back her confidence and her deciding to 
go and participate in the pillars break as well and as i said i cannot remember who is the person who's going to compete in the pillars pillars break most probably it yeah it, it is muki it is muki i can remember now it's coming back yeah i think it is muki muki is going to compete oh my god <laughs> yeah oh boy so i don't know how this is going to go you know like how like uh, like obviously i know how this is going to go but i don't know how she's going to take it if she loses again or or are, is it some other match i'm not sure is miyuki really her opponent i'm not so sure about this now i think so um yeah yeah it, it was okay like no need to think too much about it because obviously in the next episode we're going to see what's going to happen so yeah i think it is miyuki you know, and they are basically going to fight and yeah and lose again so that's what i'm thinking about you know like how is she going to take her second loss okay well all right okay is there anything else here let me see mm. No, I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. So here we like, you know, like one thing I, I think I kind of said it in one of the previous videos that even though these characters are the opponents, I could see that they are honorable, especially Iri. You know, like she looks like those <laughs> haughty, what do you call it? Uh, people, those haughty Ojo Samas. No, but she like you know she she's very honorable and uh, we can see that you know and uh, like I'm, I'm also getting the same feeling here because she's she's just like a normal you know like a normal girl uh, who also like you know treasures her friends and uh, yeah something like that so yeah so that's one thing that like this always like you know whenever there's like this type of competition when, the, when they're the opponents usually there's either it goes two ways either the opponents are actually nice you know just because they're fighting doesn't mean that they're bad you know fighting against them doesn't mean that they're bad uh, because there's a competition so either they're good or they are pride and pride prideful haughty and nasty like it either goes in, in these two ways in, in this i was kind of curious about how this is going to go and looking at them it really seemed as if they're very prideful and probably uh, like you know i don't know like it's kind of questionable in a way but from these two episodes i can say that nah they're good they're good people actually and uh, you know they're, they're just you know, normal you know, people just com competing in this uh, match as well trying to win just like our main characters so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you uh, that was that was this episode this was episode number seven but yeah, 7 of Maoka Koko no Yuto says, so if you guys enjoyed this reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Maoka Koko no Yuto say. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.